Okay, so finally, 4.6, we're finally getting to momentum. Okay, so in this subsection, 4.6, we will basically see where our uh, conservation of momentum, we can begin to see where it starts, where it comes from, okay, the, its origins. So remember we had two carts, and in various ways they collided with each other. The one was a standard cart, the other was an unknown. And basically we saw that uh, the inertia of the unknown divided by the inertia of the standard was the negative of the change in velocity of the standard divided by the change in the velocity of the unknown. Okay, this is just empirical. We just kept colliding them and we saw that this was true. The change in the masses, the change in the inertias, the, I mean the ratio rather, sorry, ratio of the inertias is equal to the inverse of their changes in velocity. So if we rewrite this, we get this equation and then we get this equation. Okay? We get an m delta v of the unknown plus m delta v of the standard. If we rewrite it again, the delta v becomes v final of the unknown minus v initial of the unknown. Over here we have v final of the standard minus v initial of the standard. Again, if we multiply out, we get these quantities, mv, 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 mv. And we know that this mv is known as momentum. So it's basically the, the final mv of the unknown minus the initial mv of the unknown, which is the final momentum of the unknown minus the initial momentum of the unknown plus the final momentum of the standard minus the initial momentum of the standard. Okay, so this is obviously known as in, uh, momentum and it is the product of the inertia, the mass, and the velocity. Okay, some more, uh, some more things to see here. Momentum is a quantitative measure of the matter of motion. So motion of matter. It depends on the amount of matter uh, in motion and how fast. So it depends on the uh, amount of matter and how fast that matter is going. It is an intrin inertia is an intrinsic property. You can't change without, without changing the object. Um, so inertia can't change, right? Unless unless you change the object. But the momentum can change because momentum is mv and so if the velocity of that object changes the momentum of that object changes. So eventually we can write those equations in a very elegant form. The change in momentum of the unknown plus the change in momentum of the standard uh, is equal to zero. Right? This is in our, in our we were considering these two in a collision. Okay? Now we will see later on that this type of equation holds actually for any two uh, masses, any two inertia, inertial uh, objects that are inside an isolated system. Okay, see you in the next one.